examples of quadratic equations where a is not equal to 1 okay where a is more than 1 now we are supposed to solve these two quadratic equations by completing the square okay now let's look at example 4 first okay you're given 5x squared minus 8x minus 4 equals to 0 Step 1, divide all by 5. Okay? So, you get this step. Now, negative 4 over 5, bring to the right. Yeah. Okay. Now, you take this number, 8 over 5, divide it by 2, and square it, and add to both sides of the equation. Okay, you get 8 over 10. Right. Next. Now you have completed the square. You simplify the 8 over 10, you get 4 over 5. You cancel. Okay. So now, we have completed the square. This sign is negative, so this sign follows here. Remember that. 4 over 5, you bring it down into this bracket and then you square it equals to 4 over 5 plus 16 over 25. So 4 over 5, you convert times 5 times 5, so you get this. So x minus 4 over 5 squared equals to 36 over 25. Therefore, x minus 4 over 5 equals to plus minus square root of 36 over 25, which is 6 over 5. Negative 4 over 5, bring it to the other side. You get positive plus 4 over 5. So from here, you get x, two values for x. So one value is negative 6 over 5 plus 4 over 5, which gives you negative 2 over 5. Okay, negative 2 over 5, let me write it properly, okay, negative 2 over 5, okay, and, oh, the other value of x is 6 over 5 plus 4 over 5, that is equals to 2, get it? Very straight forward, okay, now let's look at example 5. Okay. Example 5. You are given 6x squared plus x minus 15 equals to 0. Okay, step number 1. Divide all the terms by 6. This is what you get. Negative 15 over 6. Bring to the other side. This is what you get. 15 over 6. Okay? Now you take the 1 over 6. Divide it by 2. Square it. And add to both sides. This is what you get. Right? Now we have completed the square here. Okay, the sign here is plus. So this sign comes here, plus, into this bracket. Huh? So x plus 1 over 12. This 1 over 12, we bring it down. So x plus 1 over 12 squared equals to this. So this we simplify, we get 360 over 144 plus 1 over 144. So from here you get x plus 12 equals to 361 over 144 square root okay square equals to this so square root x plus 1 over 12 is square root of 361 over 144 plus or minus okay 
Now, from here, sorry, from here, plus 102, you bring to the other side. Sorry, 1 over 12, bring to the other side. Negative 1 over 12. So from here, you get two values of x. Okay, one answer is negative 19 over 12 minus 1 over 12, you get negative 5 over 3. Okay, all the other value of x is 19 over 12 minus 1 over 12, that is 3 over 2. Straight forward. Another two questions on quadratic equations. Okay, example six and seven. Again, you are asked to solve these quadratic equations by completing the square. Okay, let's see how we do example six. 3x squared minus x minus 10 equals to zero. First step, divide all the terms by 3. So what do you get? x squared minus 1 over 3x minus 10 over 3 equal to 0. You move negative 10 over 3, move it to the right, you get 10 over 3. Okay? Now we take the coefficient of x. Okay, negative 1 over 3. You take 1 over 3, divide by 2 and square and add to both sides. So when you divide this by 2 and you square, you get 1 over 6. So 1 over 6 squared plus 1 over 6 squared this side, both sides. Okay, now we complete the square. This sign is negative, it follows here negative. 1 over 6, you bring down 1 over 6. So x minus 1 over 6 squared equals to 120 over 36 plus 1 over 36. You convert 10 over 3 to 120 over 36. When you add up, it's 1 to 1 over 36. So, this square equals to this. So, x minus 1 over 6 equal to square root of 1 to 1 over 36. Okay, plus minus. Therefore, you get x equals to positive negative 11 over 6 plus 1 over 6. So there are two answers for x, okay? From here you get x equals to negative 11 over 6 plus 1 over 6, which works out to negative 5 over 3. Or x is equal to negative positive 11 over 6 plus 1 over 6, which is equal to 2. That is your answer for example 6. Okay, let's see how we do example 7. Okay, example 7, 4x squared plus 4x minus 35 equals to 0. As usual, divide all by this number, that is 4. Divide all by 4, all the terms, you get this step. Okay, negative 35 over 4, bring it to the right. Okay, next step. The coefficient of x here is 1. So you take 1, you divide by 2, you square it and add to both sides. So 1 over 2 squared here plus 1 over 2 here squared. Okay? Now, so here you have x. Now follow this sign. x plus 1 over 2. This number comes down. Okay? Squared equals to 35 over 4 plus 1 over 4. That is 36 over 4. 36 over 4 is 9. So the square root x plus half equals to the square root of 9 plus minus. That is positive or negative 3 plus 2. Bring to the other side, you get negative. Sorry, plus half. Bring to the other side, you get negative half. Therefore, x equals to negative 3 minus half which, which gives you negative 3 and a half or 3 minus half which gives you which gives you 2 and a half as simple as that so if you look carefully 
you see that it is not that difficult. Thank you. I have for you another two examples of quadratic equations which you are supposed to solve by completing the square. Okay, let's look at example A. We apply the same techniques. Huh? 8x squared minus 2x minus 15 equals to 0. Divide all by 8. So this is what you get. 8 over 8, 1, nothing. 2 over 8, 1 over 4, 15 over 8 equal to 0. Negative 15 over 8 bring to the other side. Okay. Now, you take this 1 over 4, divide by 2, square it, and add to both sides of the equation. Okay. This is what you get. Now, Look at this sign. This sign is negative. So we complete the square like this. Bring this 1 over 8 down here. So we put a bracket. X minus 1 over 8 squared. So we have completed the square. So this is equal to. This is 120 over 64 when you multiply by 8. Okay. So 1 over 64. This is 1 over 8 squared. This is 1 over 64. So you get this 1 to 1 over 64. So square root of 1 to 1 over 64 is 11 over 8. That's what you get here. Now negative 1 over 8 bring to the other side. Positive plus. From here you get x equals to negative 11 over 8 plus 1 over 8. Negative 5 over 4. Or x is equal to 11 over 8 plus 1 over 8. That is 3 over 2. As simple as that. Okay? Now, let me go to the next example. Example 9. Next example. 5x squared minus 6x minus 10 equals to 0. What do you do first? Divide all by 5. All the terms divide by 5. This is what you get. Okay, now. Negative 2. Bring to the other side. Positive 2. Now you take this number, 6 over 5, divide it by 2 and square it. This is what you get. 5 times 2, 10, see? Square plus 6 over 10, square. Okay, now look at this sign. Negative. Now anyway, 6 over 10 is 3 over 5. Here, 3 over 5, okay? You bring this down. See? This sign. 3 over 5, bring this number down. So you get x minus 3 over 5 squared. We have completed the square. Equals to 2 plus this, that is uh, 25. Okay, 9 over 25. So you convert this also over 25. So 50 over 25. Add up. Square root 59 over 25. Okay. Negative 3 over 5. Bring to the other side, positive. Square root of 59, 7.6811. Square root of 25 is 5. From here, we get negative 7.6811 plus 3 divided by 5. This answer. 0 0.9362. And the other answer is or x is equal to 7.6811 plus 3 divided by 5. 2.1362. So these two answers are correct to 4 decimal places. Okay? Now look at it carefully. By now, you should be able to solve quadratic equations by completing the square just like this. I'm sure you can do it if you watch it a number of times. Thank you.